Hello sports lovers, welcome to Med Sports TV, I'm Med and this is going to be the first episode of Freestyle Friday. Freestyle Friday, what I seek to achieve is express my opinion on diluted random sports news across the globe and I want it to be a success and you also want it to be a success. So the only way it can be a success is starting with you pressing the like button expressing your views in the comment section subscribing to the channel don't forget to press the bell icon too this would go a long way to make freestyle friday a success thank you so much for doing all this now let me start with the first freestyle let me sip my tea now congratulations are in order for alfred the bukum bomba or the guy we call showtime lamte he is one of Ghana's brightest prospects who is coming through the ranks. His coach is coach Ebenezer Jake, popularly known as Kela, coming from the Black Panthers gym. He is doing very well for himself. He hasn't had a couple of fights, but he was scheduled to fight on the undercard of Ashi and uh, Robert the Stopper Quay. He was the co-main event, but pulled out of that particular fight with a wrist injury. But Lamte is back. He got his first international win in Tanzania. Congratulations and kudos, guys. And to your coach, keep pushing the boy and his promoter, Alex Ntiamwa, all doing well for Alfred Lamte. Now, let me go to the camp of the Ghana Boxing Authority. There is heat in the camp of the Ghana Boxing Authority. There is heat and the heat has landed a case to the police. The promoter of S3 Promotions has reported the GBA president to the Jamestown uh, police station for alleged threat and pulling of gun. This happened uh, on Tuesday at the gym gymnasium. So it is alleged that the GBA president pulled a gun and threatened to kill the promoter of three S3 Promotions. I wasn't there. I don't know how far it's true, but the GBA has officially issued a statement now uh, in that same meeting the gba was supposed to have a pre conversation with stakeholders about the agm that was scheduled to happen on the 28th but happened to post be postponed because a lot of people at that particular meeting did not agree with the gba president alfred kote nikwe with the amendments and the way he was running ghanian boxing yes that was what i heard oh that was what i heard a lot of stakeholders were not happy with him robin dodu made it clear to him that the constitution which he said is not signed and illegitimate was not true it wasn't um, drafted by alex Bache, as he keeps alleging so on that point of correction there were a lot of opposition to his um, to his proposals and he gave stakeholders two weeks whilst the constitution said every stakeholder must be given eight weeks and the uh, and the amendment proposed must be attached to same letter in communicating that and that all those procedures were not um, followed hence the cancellation of the of the agm which was scheduled to happen on the 28th of september now to football to football to football the black stars are not looking pretty good the black stars are not looking good uh they won against nicaragua and the match against brazil they were very awful in the first half and they are not looking good i don't think for this performance if nothing changes i don't think we go beyond the group stage i'm just calling a spade a spade that's just my humble opinion take it for whatever it's worth now to the to england and tottenham hospital is facing us now yes tottenham hospital is facing us now that is a london derby whilst manchester united my own true love yes manchester united we would be beating manchester city yes believe it or not we have a show more we watch great exciting news coming in from football tough tough matches over the weekend exciting football matches 
now to international boxing alexander useke is saying um Tyson the Gypsy King Fury is docking him whilst he was the first to say that he is not ready for Fury in December. It's Alexander Isaac paying Tyson back with his own medicine, trying to spin the public against him. I don't know. But Alexander Isaac has ended up calling out uh, Deontay the Bronze Boban Wilder, saying on the 15th of October he would be at the Buckley Center and he would be calling out. Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder. Let's hope it goes well for Deontay Wilder against Robert Hellenius. It's as, 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 as a tricky fight. It's not, I know Wilder will come out with a victory, but Hellenius is quite a good fighter and would, would put in a performance. So we are hoping for a great performance on the 15th of October. Speaking of 15th of October, the biggest female fight would also be happening in England. That is between Schultz and Marshall. This fight was supposed to happen on the weekend in which the Queen passed away, hence its postponement to the 15th of October. This is also going to be a very, very exciting fight. I don't think the viewership of this fight would be affected because of the time zone and the different interests. I am very keen and seeing Savannah Marshall versus Clarissa Shield. It's going to be on. It's going to be a very, very exciting fight. And all the ladies, it's, a, it's an all ladies night. Before I forget, all the ladies, that fight is going to be a very interesting one. And and there are no clear cut winners out there. So I encourage all sports lovers and all boxing lovers to go out there and purchase that fight and watch. Uh, what else is in the boxing news? What else is in the boxing news? Uh, it's Freestyle Friday, remember? It's Freestyle Friday. So let's just enjoy the random boxing news across the globe. Uh, what else is in the boxing news? Wow, Deontay Wilder says he will automatically become a Hall of Famer when he retires. I can't say for sure if Deontay Wilder is a Hall of Famer, but I think he needs one or two names on his record to become a Hall of Famer. Ten title defenses don't count for any, uh, counts for something, sorry. Ten title defenses counts for something. So I think he, he can be or he is on his way or he or he just needs one or two opponents in order to cement that because 10 title defenses count for something for for if not if if they weren't good enough the fight wouldn't have happened now tyson the gypsy king fury and 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 Ties uh, and Anthony AJ Joshua, they have not signed yet. I've done a full video on that. I'll be bringing you that later in the uh, in the week. And um, Terence Buck Crawford versus Errol Spence seems to be cancelled or seems to be postponed to January next year. Uh, I Al Hamon is pulling some shenanigans on Terence Crawford. Hence, Terence Crawford is saying. He is not going to sign the contract until there is full disclosure and full transparency. I thought Errol Spence Jr. was a promoter himself. Errol Spence promotes himself, man damn promotions. So why is an advisor holding back the fight? That tells you that there is something fishy about the PBC. There is lack of transparency and I think the PBC is broke. If the PBC wasn't broke, Luis Ortiz versus Andy Ruiz wouldn't be a pay-per-view fight. Fact. Fact. But I think Al Heyman and TGB needs to take the risks on this fight because they took the risks on Canelo versus Plant uh, and a lot of fights. They should take a risk on this fight. It's a very good fight to sell and they'll get their money's worth. So this is it for the first edition of Freestyle Friday. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Press the bell icon, like this video, and express your views in the comment section. <sighs> Let's make Freestyle Friday a success. So please suggest Freestyle Friday to others. Nayan Koyenim, let's go forward together. Thank you for watching. Stay positive. Remember, there's no limit to greatness. Au revoir. Cheers.